What's good guys, Alex is Hypno Tech. How are you doing? Have you ever wanted to have a wallpaper on your PC that moves or represents you or it looks really cool? Well, I have the perfect app for you. This is Wallpaper Engine, a live wallpaper app for from Steam on Steam that you can purchase. I'll show you guys how to do it. Uh, we'll go to the store. Of course, I already purchased it, but uh, I'll show you how to do it. You go on your search. Type in wallpaper engine, two words, $3.99, so it's $4. This is actually the first purchase I ever did on Steam, and it's well worth it. I really think if you like customizing your computer, your desktop, to make it unique, to represent you, this is the perfect thing to buy, and I think it's well worth it. So then you wanna go to library and go under software. This is under software, and then you're gonna to wanna to launch it. If you have any updates, it will update it. Uh, there's a lot of patches released to this thing, so it is very current. So after everything is updated, all you have to do is go back into Steam and launch the application. And uh, we're going to do that here right now. Let's launch it. And a menu should pop up with Wallpaper Engine. You're going to see a bunch of wallpapers. A lot of it is something I downloaded. So you see installed and workshop at the top. These wallpapers here, a half probably like 80% of them I downloaded from the workshop. Um, they're all, most of them are, I think they're all free. Um, so here's a quick little demo. As you can see, she is walking with a gun and she's basically walking in place. This looks really cool uh, through a portal. And that's that's basically what this app is all about. It, it brings wallpapers to the background. Some of them are more sophisticated than others. As you can see, this is a pixel, an eight bit kind of pixel art of a city. And I actually prefer things with less movement. And I'll show you some that has that have really a, a lot of movement. Like, like for, for example, this one. This is Last of Us 2, the debut trailer. And this is of Ellie playing her guitar. Uh, if you've seen the trailer, you are very, very acquainted with this particular uh, clip here. And so this basically plays the entire clip and actually has music. I'm not recording audio here, but this does have audio they do output audio so that might annoy certain people but i'll show you something really cool you can actually customize basically every aspect of the wallpapers you can change the scheme colors you can change the volume as you can see make it louder or you can turn off the volume i actually prefer the audio off for all these wallpapers um, and then you can even simply slow down or increase the playback rate. As you can see, I, I, I sped it up to 100 playback instead of 100. Um, I, sorry, I sped it up. Now I'm gonna decrease it, decrease the playback so it's gonna be much slower. And she's basically lipping out the words right now. So it's really cool. You can customize it to basically everything you want. Um, but once again, like I said, I prefer things that are very stagnant, like this stagnant with a little bit of movement some background movement bioshock infinite when i first started playing Bi bioshock infinite all those years ago walking into the city for the first time you are shocked at what you could see it's a first person game so it's it feels like you're in there and to have this on my desktop and relive it every single time i turn my pc on it's the greatest feeling ever i think this is an awesome thing but let's take a look at the workshop so the workshop has 1,423 pages. A lot of it is anime, a lot of it is games. Um, there's some K-pop music videos, music videos in general. Um, but what you wanna do first off is I, I normally look at the uh, most upvotes or most downloaded ones. And uh, as you can see, this one is a Grand Theft Auto one that I don't have. So I'm gonna click the download button and you can see it's downloading right now. In the meantime, it, it, while it downloads in the background, you can click on other things and you can check out the other wallpapers. This one has a preview on the top. A lot of them don't, so you actually have to download it and test it out for yourselves. Oh, oh! I actually downloaded that one in the past, so that is on my library. So that's why when I clicked on it, it changed my wallpaper in the background. But uh, as you can see here, very pretty. This is very, this is very nice. I, I really like having this and people walking into my office and walk by and see my PC in the background running. And they, they're like, whoa, what, what's going on? How, how is this happening? Like, this is so cool. What is this? So I decided to make a video. This is Wallpaper Engine for those of you who are, are curious. And you guys obviously know because you're watching this video. But this is a really badass 
app and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. This is one of the coolest things and it's infinite. Look at all, every single day there are new wallpapers being uploaded from creators. You can even make your own and upload it yourself. It's just really cool. Like I've wanted something like this and I didn't know where to find it. So I came across it on Reddit. Yeah, Reddit is a great place to find things. And now I want to pass it on to you. So uh, yeah, my preference for these is the, are these little subtle background ones. Like this is, um, is it, her name's Saber, right? From uh, Fate. All she is doing is hovering in the rain. The rain wallpapers look so awesome. It really does. Like I highly recommend downloading a rain wallpaper. Actually, let's check this Grand Theft Auto one. There you go. It's just awesome, right? It's running in your background. But once again, this is Wallpaper Engine. My name is Alex from Sipno Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!